Hey guys, it's Bethany. So it's time for an unboxing. This is an order that I placed with Archer Arts. I'm really excited to see what I got and see what everything looks like. So let's get into it. So it looks like my items mostly came in these really pretty organza bags. Fun, 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 fun. This one has a sticker that says, thank you for your order. Oh yes, this is a bowl tray. I'm really excited to try this because basically you hold it in the palm of your hand and it fits really comfortably. I mean, I'm hoping it fits comfortably. I imagine it would be because it's circular. This is in the color Voodoo. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that's a pretty color. So it fits very comfortably. I like this because I like to hold my diamond painting trays in my hand for the most part. And they're not really shaped to fit the palm of your hand, but these, this is. It has a tray stopper with it. Pretty little diamond. I am excited to try that out. Cool. The other thing I got here is an owl stash stump with an additional owl buddy. So this cool little stump here, oh, look at that. One magnet, it's like a cover minder. One magnet goes on top of your painting. One goes on the bottom. Of course, you don't have to. You can just set it down. You could just set it down. Man, that's so cool. So it's a tree stump. You can put trash in there or whatever you have. And then to cover it up is this cute little owl. I love owls, guys. So I have two. I got one in confetti cloud and one in gold. Those are so cool. I love it. I love it. And last we have a diamond grinder. I picked this in the color gray because, well, gray is my favorite color. So basically if you have diamonds that are stuck together, you pour them in here, close this, and turn it. And that will help separate them so that they're not stuck together and when you're trying to diamond paint. It comes with an directions guide which says pour diamonds into grinder tray and shake into grooves, place grinder lid over diamonds, gently twist until diamonds are separated, do not press down, and that's it. Happy drooling. And then on the back is a lovely little disclaimer. I'll go ahead and read that for you guys. It says, disclaimer, this diamond separator is provided as is. Archer Arts, its associates or assigns make no warranties of any kind. Use of the product by user is at the user's risk and subject to you to the exclusive jurisdiction and venue of the Supreme Court of Iowa, Monona County, and all disputes arising out of or relating to the use of this product. The following uses may cause irreparable damage to the diamond separator. One, overfilling the separator with resins. Two, pressing down hard or firmly when the separator is filled with resins. Three, roughly twisting the separator when attempting to separate the resins. The diamond separator is best suited for square shaped resins. The separator will work with round shaped resins, but the results may not be the same. Thank you for your order. Interesting information to know. So that's my order. I'm really excited to go try these out. I'm actually gonna try out every single one of these items right now. I'm working on Gemini and I'm gonna use these on that. Hey, it's me again. So I wanted to come back and show you what the diamonds look like in this bowl. Now, one of, there's a few things that I really like after trying this for a few minutes. One, is that because the bowl is so deep you can actually pour a lot of diamonds in there and then you just kind of shake it up off to the side and then you have your rows here and you can easily take those to diamond paint but you because there's so much space for the drills in here you don't have to come back and keep refilling it so areas like this that i'm working on that have a lot of the same color you can just pour a bunch in there and you don't have to keep refilling it, which is really nice. 
I like that the spaces between are small and I don't know if you can see that but the but the ridges that come up are pretty thick too. It's really nice. This is a really nice container, you guys. Um, it pours out easily. Let me see if I can show you. So you just take out the stopper. Oops, I'm not even in camera. Sorry about that. See that, it just pours out. Nice and easy. I don't know if that captured it or not. I might end up editing that. But anyways, so I really like this bowl a lot. It's a great diamond painting tray. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you next time.